Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 262. I understand that we have a very short chapter this week, like seven pages. I think that may actually be shorter than the chapter we got at the end of the Zenin Massacre. I understand that Gege is apparently sick again and there's going to be a two week break after this chapter, uh, which for once, I don't feel, uh, you know, any real disappointment at, at all, because Elden Ring, the DLC comes out in two weeks, and I am not going to want to take a break from that for anything. Not even really JJK. I would do it, but I wouldn't really want to. Um, but now, because of this break, I won't have to. But yeah, anyway, I'm curious as to what the contents of this chapter are going to be in seven pages, given that we had a new domain clash start between Yuta and Sukuna. Um, but, you know, I guess there's only one way to find out. And before we get into that, as always, if you haven't already, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this week's reaction. Now then, without any further ado, let's get right into this week's chapter, shall we? Uh, so we got the cover page for Jump with Yuji here. A uh, few flashes of some other panels from uh, uh, really just the the whole Sukuna raid up until this point. Hmm. Oh, those are concerning. <laughs> so we've got we've got Yuji's uh, black flash going off. Wait, no, those people aren't all dead. Yeah, because Miguel and Larue are not dead. Kashima's dead. Higuruma might be dead. Kusakabe might be dead. And I can't tell who that is in between Maki and Toto. I, I can't actually tell who that is there. Hmm. Well, anyway. And then we got the big color page spread. Uh, and the reveal of the Takaba uh, volume cover. Which has now, you know, it got revealed around when I expected it to. Um, yeah, we got Sukuna here on one side and Yuta Gojo on the other. The King of Curses and the Prodigy of the Modern Era. The two face off in their altered forms. Chapter 262, Domain Expansion. Akotsu and Sukuna and the Shrunken Barrier. Okay, so he did it again. That was the solution to the open barrier, right? He's maintained that. We got we got these two out here looking. Uh, it, there's like a vortex forming around it with the wind blowing around. The countermeasure Gojo Satoru worked out against Sukuna's domain was a shrunken barrier. For approximately three minutes, it's possible to withstand the effects of malevolent shrine beating down on the barrier from the outside. Doing switch training with Gojo Sensei allowed me to elevate my barrier techniques too. Ah, so you switched with him. Good choice. And it also means that you're accustomed to being in his body, which is also very good. By the way, this spread here. Ah, oh, we can mirror them now. So we had, what, the first domain clash between Gojo and Sukuna. Um, with that Malevolent Shrine, and now this Domain Clash here with the new Malevolent Shrine, and I'm gonna be honest, I think I like the visuals of this one even more. Oh my god, that looks fucking good. Oh boy. Taking Sukuna's fatigue into account, I should be able to stall the Domain for three minutes like Gojo-sensei did. And you really can tell that's Yuta there. That's such a good job from Gege. Just, just... It, it's basically Yuta's face on Gojo. Ryoman Sukuna, on the other hand, was able to rid himself of the previously imposed 99 second time limit by restricting the Levelant Shrine's effective range to only the outline of Akotsu's domain. Of course, you're not making it as big and trying to trap as many people inside of it. Three minutes. Within these three minutes, I'll damage Sukuna to the point that he can't maintain Malevolent Shrine. I don't need three minutes. I'll destroy Unlimited Void and expand my effective range. This time, I'll be sure to slaughter them all. All right, I think it was announced that we're reaching the climax of the Sukuna raid. It fucking feels like it. 
hands. Yuta goes in there, he gathers something around between his hands. But Sukuna rushes in on him to interrupt. He grabs at his arm. Sukuna throws a few punches and hits Yuta in the face. He bypassed Infinity with Domain Amplification. So he's able to activate it while using Domain Expansion. Oh yeah! That wasn't something they would have seen from the Crows. Because the Crows weren't... I don't think... Yeah, the Crows weren't ever able to see inside the Domains. So they didn't see Sukuna was able to do it while he had his Domain active. Because then his technique was imbued in the Domain. Naturally, what occurred within a domain your little crows couldn't even enter wouldn't be known by you all. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. As soon as I say it. What's that there? Uh, whoa. What? Yuta. Uh, Rika isn't here with Yuta. She's remained by his body. Which... I think they put back together. Yuta. Rika fully manifested. However, yeah, that is fully manifested, Rika. She's not there with him. She's here. They've put Yuta's body back together. I think, I think that means there's a chance. I think that means there's a chance it can go back. Which is what I hope happens. Yeah, that was indeed a very short chapter. Not too terribly much happened. We had like a neat development, cool spread, and then, you know, another neat development with Rika and Yuta's body. Cool. Well, uh, nice to get a little bit, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, we're not going to get anything until like the end of the month. But, um, shrugs, it is what it is. Um, Gege's not feeling well. He needs to prioritize his health. He needs to be in his best condition when it comes to this part of the series so that he can continue providing the immaculate quality content that he has been for like a year straight now. Um, so yeah, with that, that's all I've got for this week's reaction. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Jujutsu Kaisen chapter reactions and reviews every week that we get a new chapter. If you enjoy discussing Jujutsu Kaisen with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce in this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.